My name is uh, Jim Burr. I uh, got into telescopes, oh, back in the early 80s. Actually, I got my first patent in 1983. Uh, took a class in astronomy and uh, built a telescope, but it wiggled. Every time you try to focus, it just, it's, can I get Saturn sharper? And so you'd, you'd have to wait 15 seconds for it to wiggle. The whole background was always uh, ability to work with your hands and weld and and, uh, and I think maybe a gift, I may have a gift to see things simply. When I was a kid we built our own toys. You know, I'd take a little make a little box, make a corn planter, okay, take some mayonnaise jars, where they were the wheels, put a hole here and put a hole in the jar so when you pull them along. As it, when it ever came around, the corn would fall out, you know, that kind of stuff. We uh, just basically made your own toys. My dad was very good. The whole family was very creative. Uh, they were, my dad had three brothers. Three of them were quite inventive. Even Grandpa was, too. I have dyslexia, and I had a really hard time in high school. Uh, I still have a hard time. Uh, I can't spell. I look at letters and, and, and H and D and H and those words, they're, they're, they're backwards. Uh, high school, I mean, I just barely made it through high school, except for physics. We got to physics and electricity, the class, the professor said, well, why don't you just teach the class tomorrow? So in that area, I was really interested. But in other things, I tried to go to college for one year and, and dropped out there. And then the rest of it's just been kind of self-educated. You know? If you're really interested in something, you can dig it out. Well, I started out in my garage, you know, and our kids would make these little wire the motors up and so forth and, and uh, start selling that stuff. And every morning I'd go down and package up some of these little motors and ship them off. Pretty soon, this is making more money than the TV business was. It should have stayed in my garage. I actually made a lot more money there. And then when we started hiring employees and we made that telescope, we actually had seven employees working out of our house in Evergreen. We built 50 of those 18-inch telescopes up there. I mean, getting a check from NASA from a guy like me who's a high school dropout, uh, actually I tell people I'm a dropout. I, uh, my body uh, graduated from high school, but my mind dropped out a long time before graduation. So uh, that was that was probably a, a pretty big highlight of my life to get a couple of checks from NASA. He says, you need to inv invent a declination motor. That's the part that moves the scope up and down. If you take pictures, you got to have a declination motor. He said, five times I'm in the dust trying to find my belt. And, it just fell off of this little thing. I came home from that, it got my attention. I built a snap-on motor. I, well, I guess I was getting at it was I think I have maybe a gift to see things mechanically simply, you know. Mm -hmm. 